with the Keep It Real show. I'm sitting right here with Ike Don. Don't get it twisted. Google the man and you'll find out that he's supposed to be on TV constantly like he is. <laughs> it's real simple that way. So uh, so a lot of people out there, my emailers, they don't they don't know who Ike is. They want to know who you are. A lot of these people are new to uh, new to the area and new to uh, different aspects of hip hop and what, what our culture brings. So why don't you explain to them where, where you came from, Ike? Uh, well, I got my start, uh, my father's gospel group, uh, shout out to Reverend Dudley. Uh, he had a group, the uh, Anointed Sons of God. They're still touring throughout the, the nation, you know, doing their thing. Uh, that's where I got my start at, uh, taking his equipment. He had a basement for, you know, he had it set up. Uh, me and my little brother got to making beats uh, while we were in high school back in West High. Uh, okay. We recorded a lot of people. Well, that's how I got to know a lot of people through the neighborhoods from Westwood, the Mount Arvin, Avondale, all over the city, Cumminsville. Everybody knew me from producing in high school. Uh, from there, I moved on. It was around 2000. I started my film company, Dirty Deacon Films. Okay. Um, we were just going out, filming a lot of different stuff, different shows we had put on and things of that nature. And I wanted to take it up a step uh, with coming out with the Cincinnati Smack, which featured a lot of local talent, a lot of people doing their thing independently. You know, so I, I got that exposure and got hooked up with Media Bridges and start publicizing that, you know, on the Channel 4 on public access. Uh, from there, I took my, my radio and, and record skills up a bit by starting Westwood with ENT, uh, along with my partner Prince City and Doran Cobb, you know. And we, we dropped uh, several albums on there, learning different things with the graphic design, uh, and just putting people on all throughout that time. Um, around 2005, I met up with my man H. Tizzle, and we came out with the film The Price is Right. That was my first film done independently, uh, the first film shot here in Cincinnati. Uh, they really went somewhere. We didn't sold it nationwide. I say we about close to 100,000 copies sold, you know, because I ain't going to never stop selling. I was in the club the other night selling. The guy tried to come up and tell me, you know, I had to put a stop to it. Uh, I showed him by putting a stop to it by selling them all. By the time he came back to Holly, you know, I was right. done. You know, I ain't, I ain't stopping, man. This is my business. This is what I do. I'm not selling bootlegs. It's my movie. If y'all see me out there, please know this, this is a real deal copy. It ain't wrapped up in plastic for nothing. I'm going to keep moving. Um, anyway, I'm still on Channel 4 Public Access, still doing my thing with that. Uh, it's not stopping. Anytime after 1130, you will see me on there six nights a week. Uh, anytime you see Gucci Man or, or somebody like that, uh, Duro, Trey Songs, Franchise Boys, Rocco, anybody like that, I done put them on there, guaranteed. I'm not filming it off of a video that I saw come on BET. I meant right there, live and direct footage with them, no questions asked. Any club, event, I'm there, I'm doing my thing, it ain't stopping. Shout out to my man H. Tizzle, we got the new book out, uh, the novel, Where He Come From. He's still doing his thing, he also has a film called Time to Get Money, so you know, we're just keeping that circulating. Man, you're doing a heck of a job of it, I tell you that, man, from the west side to the east side, from west high to Hughes, all the way over to that's all the other schools, Withrow, everything that's got it popping, man. This man right here does most of it in the city, so you better get hip. It's somebody that I look up to as far as the TV and entertainment business goes. This man has done what he says he's doing, and he won't stop. It's the Keep It Real Show, and we'll be right back with more Ike Don. Check it out. It's me, the